The global supply chain isn't functioning as it normally does, and that's impacting us all around the world. The global supply chain is struggling. We've seen the fragility of that shipping network. Jewel, just as toys and bikes and sneakers become harder to find on the shelves, there's a good chance they're piled up in some of these containers. Now getting a product from point A to point B sounds simple. It's not. Semiconductor shortages highlighted the need for companies to have a well-designed supply chain network that can quickly adapt to the changing market condition. In recent news, major companies like Amazon and Walmart have been investing in new technologies and logistics centers to improve their supply chain network design. Even Forbes suggested reinvent supply network will be focused in 2023. So, how you can learn supply chain network design with the help of Excel? Let's understand in this video. Before going forward, kindly subscribe to the channel. It helps us to grow. So, what is network optimization model? The network optimization model is a mathematical model that helps in determining the optimal network design for a supply chain. This model takes into account the various costs involved in the supply chain, such as transportation cost, production cost, inventory cost, and other related costs. The model then optimizes the supply chain network by minimizing these costs while ensuring that consumer demand is met. So, why it is important? The network optimization model is important because it helps in optimizing the supply chain network which can result in significant cost saving by optimizing the network companies can reduce transportation cost inventory cost and production cost which can lead to increased profitability additionally the model helps in ensuring that customer demand is met efficiently which can lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty so Let's discuss the framework for network design decision. The goal when designing a supply chain network is to maximize the first profit while satisfying customer need in terms of demand and responsiveness. To cater this, we will study a framework which help to design global supply chain. This framework is from famous book of supply chain management by Sunil Chopra, Peter Mandel, and Tharam Vikalra. This framework has four phases. Phase one: define a supply chain strategy or design. The objective of first phase of network design is to identify firm's broad supply chain design. In the first phase of supply chain network management, firm decide how their supply chain will work, including which function will be done in house or which are outsourced. This is start by identifying what customer want and what the supply chain needs to do to make them happy. Managers also look at what the competition is doing, how much money is available and how the company plan to grow. based on these factor they determine the broad supply chain network design for the firm this phase sets the foundation for the optimizing the supply chain network in phase second phase second define the regional facility configuration the objective of the second phase of network design is to identify region where facility will be located their potential roles and their approximate capacity to achieve this we will be using the capacitated plant location model this will help us to identify the lowest cost for the supply chain network So let's go to the Excel and formulate the problem with the solution. Hi, welcome to Excel example of network optimization model. Here we will be discussing the problem of Sunol Corporation. The vice president of supply chain decided to view the worldwide demand in terms of five regions that is North America, South America, Europe, Africa and Asia. Annual demand for each of the five regions is shown in the gray bottom line. As you can see here, white section of the cell are the variable production inventory and transportation cost of producing in one region to meet demand in each individual region all cost are in thousands of dollar for example as shown in cell c4 it cost 92000 dollar to produce 1 million unit in north america and sell them in south america as shown in the cell g4 it cost 6 million dollar in annualized fixed cost to build a low capacity plant in north america sun oil is considering two plant sizes in each location low capacity plant can produce 10 million unit a year whereas high capacity plant can produce 20 million unit a year the fixed cost of these plant can be seen here as well here in the north america region the fixed cost of a low capacity plant is 6 million dollar while as in north america The fixed cost for high capacity plant is nine billion dollar, which you can see here. The vice president want to know what the lowest cost network should look like. To answer this question, we will use the capacitated plant location model. Let's start. In the capacitated plant location model, 
द मेन गोल इज टू मिनिमाइज द कॉस्ट ऑफ मीटिंग द ग्लोबल डिमांड सो फर्स्ट वी विल बी आइडेंटिफाई वॉट आर द वेरिएबल्स विच वी हैव टू ऑप्टिमाइज सेकेंड वॉट आर द कंस्ट्रीन और वॉट इज अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन सो एज वी नो अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मिनिमाइज द कॉस्ट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट वॉट आर माई डिसीजन वेरिएबल्स सो हाउ मच कॉस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू अकर इन टर्म्स ऑफ सप्लाइंग पर्टिकुलर गुड्स फ्रॉम अ सप्लाई रीजन टू अ डिमांड रीजन इज डिपेंड ऑन हाउ मच क्वांटिटी आई एम सप्लाइंग लेट से इफ आई एम सप्लाइंग समथिंग फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका टू यूरोप सो ऑल ऑफ माई कॉस्ट विल बी डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट वेदर आई एम सप्लाइंग टेन बिलियन ऑफ यूनिट और आई एम सप्लाइंग थाउजेंड बिलियन ऑफ यूनिट so my cost will be depending on that so my first and foremost this is a variable are how much quantity i am supplying from the supply reason to the demand reason so we will be creating a another table for our decision variables here we will be writing down all our supply reasons and here we will be writing down all our demand reasons and we will make them blank as of now so because this is the solve which we want that how much quantity we need to supply from a particular supply reason to a demand reason we will also create two more column related to the decision which we have to make that what kind of plant we want to open in those reasons whether it is a low capacity plant or it is a high capacity plant or both so these are our decision variables by which we are going to identify how much cost we are going to occur now the second part which is our constraint so they are various constraint which we can consider first of all we will be considering two business constraint the first constraint is there that each of the supply reason cannot supply more than the capacity of it let's say i have only one low capacity plant in europe so i cannot supply more than 10 million units from europe to any of the reason cumulatively the same way the another constraint is that i want to solve this problem to meet all of my annual demand the second constraint which i will be creating is that there should not be any unmet demand so every demand has to be satisfied so we will be creating another table and writing down the formulas for our constraints so here you can see we have created another table for our constraint the first constraint is that excess capacity which we have written out here so let me bring out all the formulas here so let's check out b22 so what does this formula is talking about if you click here it is talking about that if there is a lc plant okay which is g14 multiply by the capacity of lc plant which is h4 plus if there is a hc plant which is high capacity plant which is h14 multiply by j4 which is the capacity of high capacity plant which is 20 the total sum of capacity is this one if both of the plant are available in that particular reason and we are going to subtract whatever delivery which we are making from the supply reason to the demand reasons and what we are expecting that it should not be in negative because if this particular formula is negative it means you are delivering or you are supplying more than the capacity so this is the first constraint which we are creating the second constraint is the unmet demand so if we check out the formula here the formula is the b9 which is my annual demand this one which is 12 and we are subtracting all the demand in a particular reason which are being satisfied from the other supply reasons so the sum of b14 to b18 which is this one so the annual demand which is 12 minus all the delivery which we are getting in north america from all the supply regions so this particular is the unmet demand and the constraint is the unmet demand should be zero this is our another constraint so now we have discussed the decision variable and our constraints the last thing now we will be discussing is our objective function so this is our objective function which is the cost the whole objective of doing this particular exercise is to optimize the model to minimize the cost so how we are going to calculate the cost so here is a formula for that let us break down the formula if you click here it is talking about the sum product of b14 to f14 which is this uh, this particular section multiply by 
B4 to F8, which is this particular section. What does it mean? It means whatever we are deciding to deliver from a supply region to a demand region, it will get multiplied by respective variable cost, which is here. Correct. So this will this this particular section, the first part is talking about the calculating the total variable cost. Let's talk about the second part, which is G14 to G18 and it should get multiplied by G4 to G8. So this is G14 to G18 and it should get multiplied by the G4 to G8. If you look into this, it is talking about if any of the supply region is operating with the low capacity plant, it should get multiplied with the fixed cost of the low capacity plant. The same way, the third one is talking about H14 to H18 and it should get multiplied with the respective cost of high capacity plant which is in I4 to I8. So here these two sub product are talking about the fixed cost in case of low capacity and high capacity plant respectively and the first part is talking about the variable cost of delivering certain units from supply reasons to a demand reason. So this is how we are able to overall calculate the cost. So now we will be using a data analytics tool of Excel to optimize this particular model. So let's go to the data and go to the solver. Great. So here in the solver, there are certain things the solver asks in order to optimize your problem. So it will be asking what your objective is. So here you can put only a single cell and we have populated a B31, which is this one. This is our cost and this is the our objective cell. And what we want to do with this cell is this minimize. We want to minimize this overall cost because we have given the formula here that how it is being calculated. So Axel has the understanding that how this cost is being calculated. So Axel know what the variables are. Then again, we have to identify what are the variables which we want to change particularly in order to get this cost minimized. So here we are providing that B14 to H18. This is the cell array where we want to do the juggling of the numbers so that we can reach up to the optimized number of delivering supply from the demand reason. So these are our changing variables. Now the third thing we have to populate the constraint here. So as we discussed earlier in the section that we have certain constraint, some business constraint and some mathematical constraint. So let's discuss one by one. The first constraint is this B14 to H18 should be greater than or equal to zero. So here we are talking this particular white reason should be greater than or equal to zero. So it is talking about that we don't want any result where Excel make decision while giving negative value in this cell. It means the reason which are supposed to supply, they are getting delivery. So it is just that because we have made this uh, cell in a way that uh, everything will be in plus. So delivery cannot be negative. The second constraint is again a business constraint, which we talk about that. That this is the access capacity. So the access capacity, which is B22 to B26, it cannot be negative. If it is negative, it means that we are delivering more than the capacity. Third constraint is B28 to F20 is equal to zero. So which we talk about that unmet demand should be zero. This is the B28 to F28 and this is unmet demand and it should be zero. So we don't want any of our demand should be unmet because we are solving it for the whole demand. The fourth constraint is the binary for the low capacity plant and the high capacity plant. So what does it say? It means that the plant can either be open and 100% operate or it will be in the closed position or it will not produce anything. So there will not be any case that it is working on 50% or 25% of capacity or 75% of the capacity. So what we are saying here, there can be two plants, be it low capacity or high capacity, but either they will be open or they will be closed. Either they will be working on their full capacity or they will not be working at all. So these are our four constraints. So now we have modeled our problem in the solver of Excel. We have explained that how our objective function is being controlled by our decision variables. Now we can ask Excel to solve our problem and we go for the solve.
it say that okay we have a solution so the solver solve this problem for us and it says that the solution for this problem is that we need a one high capacity plant in south america one in asia and one in africa and we need not any low capacity plant and this is the delivery uh, schedule or the delivery split to meet the annual demand by doing this the total cost will be 23 0.7 million which will be the lowest cost so this is how excel can solve your supply chain network problem and it will optimize it for your lowest cost now the another question which arises is that now we have decided that there should be a plant in south america region asia and africa region but within these region what should be the location of the plant that we will be discussing in the phase 3 and that we will be covering in our next video so till then stay tuned